This video is a continuation of the first one that showed the layout of the line work and making of the solids for timing. This one will go through the actual timing of the 3D underground mine solids. We have the layout, center lines, we have the solids, we have the stopping point pinpoints. And so we're ready to go into the command under solid called solid timing. And we'll have to define a new timing project database. First, we'll just go and add set of equipment. We'll just call it mine one. And we'll add our first and only piece of equipment. We'll just call it unit one. And it will be mining tons. And we'll put in about 500 tons per shift. And let's do a 12 hour shift, one shift per day. Then we'll take a look at the calendar. We need to have a calendar, even though it might be empty. We'll call it calendar one, and it'll come up with every day working as a green shift per day. You can go in and manually turn some days off or take off holidays over here with the automated rule definitions. We'll just leave everything on every day of the week for now. We'll skip over the attribute groups for now, but we do need to have a geologic model. For the timing, it has to have actual material to mine through, so we'll go and add a geologic model. It could just be a flat roof and floor grid if that's all you need. Go ahead and view this one. We have this geologic model already prepared. It has a top and a bottom and it also has a block model for quality tracking. Our density, let's just put in a straight density, say 2500 kilograms per cubic meter. And our starting date, we'll just pick today. And we're working again just the one shift per day. And there's other things you could define in here, such as attribute groups, some additional settings, but we'll just hit OK for this simple example. And we'll select all of the polylines to go through. It found the six. Plus the decline gives us a total of seven different models, but it also is going to break the decline ramp up into five separate divisions based on those stopping pinpoints. This brings up the sequence window where we assign the models to the proper units involved in the order we want them to be mined. And you can simply just select and move it over. Or we can go into 3D pick and then graphically select the order to mine these. And so let's switch to the arrow and we'll assign them to unit one. And you simply double click and that takes that solid portion away of the decline ramp from the beginning to the first pinpoint is what B to one signifies. Then we'll take this side number one. Then we'll go back to the ramp. We'll go down to there, down to side two, and back to the ramp, down to side three, and then all the way down to the bottom. And just select everything until it's mined out. And here's the order showing up on the right side from beginning to the first pinpoint all the way down to the side six. And then we hit OK. Everything that we just selected is now moved to the middle window in the order to be mined. So we're starting on December 3rd, 2020. And we're finishing September 13th, 2022. So almost two years. Let's take a look at the dates tables. And we'll start by just changing color every month. So that'll get us to about this magenta color. There's auto set, you could change colors by month or by period here. We'll turn on to draw the actual dates. I do want to output the timing viewer, which is a TV file, which we can play back later and hit OK. Move this out of the way so we can see what's going on. And now it's drawing each of these colored solids by month in this case, which is the periods. We chose to break it down by. Notice how it goes down the decline ramp and then branches over to the side then back to the ramp and down to the next side. As the way we designed the pinpoints and set the 
order to, to be mined. All right, this takes us to our standard report formatter, and everything is moved over from left to right, and it's totaled by grand and subtotaled by period. So each one of these is a period. And then exit this command by hitting done. And let's take a look at these in 3D then. You can see they are colored by periods. They're labeled. 3D text, so it's sometimes a little bit difficult to get in and find it. And let's finally take a look at that TV file. We'll go back down under solid to view 3D timing. There's the one we just made. Maximize it to fit our screen. And let's get to a nice 3D view and hit run. Rewind it. Let's go a little bit slower and run. Each step is a period in this case. This completes the quick overview of the underground mine solids timing schedule.